Army news statistics out this morning show dozens of kids are taken to the ER every hour after getting hurt on a bike, scooter, or skateboard. Yeah, and a lot of that blame falls on parents. News Channel East Meredith Sinsolo is here. So, Mir, what are we doing wrong? Well, a lot of parents are not requiring requiring that their kids wear a helmet. Maybe they're in the neighborhood, they're like, it's no big deal. Well, it is a big deal because that helmet can make all the difference. The organization Safe Kids Worldwide surveyed parents with kids between ages 5 and 14. Nearly 40% of those parents say they don't always require their children to wear a helmet while skating, riding bikes, scooters, or skateboards. In 2015, nearly 50 children an hour went to an ER after getting hurt by a fall. Some some of those were head injuries. Most, though, were broken bones. It's not a matter of, you know, if kids are going to fall. It's when they're going to fall. We want to make sure that when they do fall, they have protective gear on. Experts say you also need to be a good role model. That same survey found 86% of moms and dads who wore helmets also had kids who adhered to that helmet rule. Florida law requires children under age 16 to wear a helmet while riding a bike. But Florida House and Senate bills to extend that requirement to skateboards and scooters, both of those bills died in committee in the past week alone. Wow. Well, yeah. so how do you wear a helmet correctly? So you have to make sure that it's snug, that it doesn't wiggle around, mm -hmm. and also you have to make sure that that chin strap is nice and tight. Oh, yeah, and that, that applies sense. no matter if you're in your driveway, Gail. Yes, or I mean, <laughs> we're really good when we go biking out like on a trail, we wear our helmets, but yeah. sometimes in the driveway, not so much. Yeah. Cement is cement. Yeah. It doesn't take a hard hit to, no. make, to create some huge damage with, nope. with a kid. All right, Meredith, thank you.